my name is Brian Derning. I'm ASUG's Crystal SIG Chair. Today I'm going to show you Report Explorer and Field Explorer for Crystal Reports. Normally these two are found on your right hand side locked against the canvas. Should you not be able to find them, go up to View and you can select Field Explorer or Report Explorer. There's a third Explorer, Repository Explorer, but that's for a later date. For those of you who like to customize your work area, you can do this. You can grab the tab down here at the bottom for Report Explorer and move it over to the left. That will make it float in the window. If you want to dock it, you can take it, move the header up towards the top, and it will lock up on top. If you don't like it there, you can unpin it, bring it back over to the right, and put it on top of Field Explorer. If you don't like that configuration, take Field Explorer and move it on top of Report Explorer and now you have them back in the tab position which we started. Now for Report Explorer. At the top you'll find four control icons. The first one is Expand. Next one over is Data Field, Show or Hide. Next over is Graphical Objects, Show or Hide. And the last one is Grids and Subreports, Show or Hide. With these enabled or disabled, gives you further control of what objects you can see in the Report Explorer. If you notice, as you move over an object in Report Explorer, a blue box will highlight the object on the left in the Report Canvas. This makes it easy to find the object that you placed in the report but can't quite remember where it is. Contrary to Field Explorer, if you select an object over there, it will not highlight over on the left hand side. Like Report Explorer, Field Explorer has control icons up at the top. If you notice that as we select the different objects over in Field Explorer, the icons up at the top either are enabled or disabled. These icons at the top are shortcuts to commands that you would normally find by right-clicking over the same object. By using the right-click shortcut, you have access to additional functionality related to the object that you selected. The icons at the top of Field Explorer are for those functions or commands that are common among all the objects. As I expand the groups here, you'll notice that there are green check marks next to objects. That green check mark means that the object is used somewhere in the report, either on the canvas or referenced in a formula. Special fields at the bottom is a class of objects standard to crystal reports such as print date, print time, page number, page N of M. They can be used in the report but not modified by us. So in summary, I like to think of Field Explorer and Report Explorer serve two different functions. Field Explorer helps me build a report and Report Explorer helps me find those objects that I placed in the report but I forget where I placed them.